Mr. Ho, and today I am, uh, it's uh, the Qingming Festival, and today I'm going to sweep the grave of uh, somebody in my family, my Chinese family. I'm going to do that now. First, I've got to take a bus. It's a beautiful day. I've got a new microphone on my camera. Feeling quite happy and uh, quite interested to take part in this tradition. So let's see how it goes. Just arrived in Panling. It's uh, a little bit warm, but it's good. Lots of people around. You can tell it's a kind of a festival day. Lots of families. So we're heading up to the place where we're going to sweep the grave. Except it's not really a grave, and I don't think we even really need to sweep it. I think it's, I think it's called a spirit tablet, and we will just clean it, take care of it, and. Uh, I don't know, then have some lunch. I'm not going to film inside because it's kind of unlucky to film and take photographs um, of these places in Chinese culture. So I won't do that. I will um, leave my camera off. And this is a real question. Why is it in Hong Kong, maybe in China, maybe Asia, why is it that like schools and hospitals and grave sites, why have they always got to be right at the top of hills? I mean, is there a special reason? Answer on a piece of paper to my classroom or on Ed Modo.
back in Mong Kok. We're gonna go and get some lunch. It's been a pretty long day, pretty long bus ride to come back here. On that bus. 70S. Anyway, I've learned some things about Qingming Festival and I'm gonna share them with you once I'm sitting down. So let's find out about that. So, what have we learned today? Number one, Qingming Festival uh, is known as the Grave Sweeping Festival. Not necessarily a lot of sweeping these days, but that's still what we call it. Number two, it's been celebrated uh, and marked in China for many, many thousands of years, two and a half thousand years, and the tradition, the things that people do for even longer than that, maybe as long as 5,000 years. Number three, uh, people burn joss sticks. Normally, they have them in threes to to um, to uh, show their respect to their ancestors. I'm wearing my ancestor T-shirt. Um, and number four, they also Chinese people also burn joss paper. Joss paper. It's not the same material as joss sticks, but I don't even really know why it's called joss. But anyway. Um, this might be uh, money or clothes or other things like that that the people in who have died, who have passed away, might want to have with them. And the fifth thing that I've learnt about Qingming Festival is that uh, the place where people go to perform these ceremonies is called the Columbarium. I didn't know that word before. So I hope you've had a nice day and uh, spent some time with your families as I have. And uh, see you next time. New words. Niche. Niche. A small space in a wall to hold a statue. Or, in Hong Kong, ashes. Ancestor. Ancestor. A person in your family who lived a long time ago. Jostick. Jostick. A thin stick that burns slowly with a sweet smell. Joss paper, joss paper. Paper items such as money given as offerings. Offering, offering. What is given to a god or ancestor in worship or ceremony. Tradition, tradition. What a group of people have believed or done for a long time. Spirit tablet, spirit tablet, a stone or sign for a respected ancestor. Columbarium, columbarium, a room or building for funeral niches.